Hello children. Now today we will start with the next topic of this chapter that is energy. This one is the last topic. Okay. See here we had learnt already learnt about the force work and now we will learn about the energy. Okay. So energy. What is energy actually? Energy is the ability to do work. To do any sort of work we need energy. Okay. Because whenever we talk, whenever we walk, we write, we see for every sort of work we want energy we require energy so that is uh, so energy is actually the ability to do work whenever we do any sort of work there should be some ability in ourselves by which we can do the work so that ability is actually known as energy okay so there are different forms of energies like wind energy solar energy chemical energy and muscular energy See students, we will learn about the solar energy, wind energy and chemical energies and muscular energy. Muscular energy is that energy which we apply from our muscles, from our hands, from our legs. Okay, when we write anything, then we are applying the muscular energy. When we walk, then we uh, then, then also we are applying the muscular energy. Okay, so whatever work we are doing with our hands, with our legs, with our body, then in that work, we are applying the muscular energy. And there is also one term that is chemical energy. That energy is actually present in the chemicals and that chemicals are like the, the common example of the chemical energy is um, uh, I can say electric cell the cells which are you which we use in the torches or in our uh, wrist watches or in our or, on our wall watches okay in the watches we usually use the uh, cell so in that cell chemicals are present and that chemicals convert uh, the chemical energy into the electrical energy by which we can easily run a particular appliance okay now the another two types of energy that is the solar and the wind energy that we will learn under sources of energy okay so they uh, we obtain we get the energy from the different different sources okay so first of the first source is sun so this energy which we obtain from the sun okay sun is uh, actually the most important source of energy and that energy which we obtain from the sun is known as solar energy which energy we obtain from the sun that is solar energy okay solar energy we obtain from the sun now uh, uh, means this solar energy is actually trapped or carried by the plants okay for the preparation of food you know that plants need sunlight for the preparation of food during the process of photosynthesis so the plants actually trap the solar energy during that process and that energy they get from the sun okay and the food that has energy is stored in the form of chemical energy i already told you that where chemical energy is present in the electrical cells now the another example where you will get the chemical energy is the food okay the food which the plants is stored in themselves during the process of photosynthesis the food get stored in the form of chemical energy okay so basically what happened the solar energy converts into the chemical energy okay now this solar energy is also used by the solar cookers okay when we use the solar cookers solar energy or solar cookers solar cookers are those cookers uh, in which we can prepare the food by placing the cookers in the sunlight okay from the sunlight that cookers will get the solar energy okay and the, the food can easily be prepared or cooked okay it can also be converted into electrical energy through the solar panels means the solar energy which we which we get from the sun that solar energy will be converted into electrical energy with the use of solar panels if you have seen the silver white plates okay so that plates are actually known as solar panels and that solar panels basically converts the solar energy when the sun rays falls on these solar panels these solar panels are like this okay so whenever the sun sun uh, sunlight falls on these solar panels then so what is present in the uh, sun sunlight that is the solar energy so this solar energy after uh, like incident or when it falls on the solar panels these solar panels convert the solar energy into the electrical energy and these electrical energies are used to run the electrical appliances or bulbs or fans in the 
villages mainly in the villages and nowadays these solar panels are actually in use in huge amount in the cities also okay by this we can use the solar energy so this is one form of energy next form of energy is wind energy you know that wind energy is basically we get from the wind okay so the moving air is actually known as wind and the energy which we get from this wind is known as wind energy. Now where this wind energy is used or how we can use the wind energy. So you know that when wind blows it generates wind energy. So that wind energy turns the blades of a windmill. If you have seen the windmill, these, this type of windmill are there okay in the village areas okay so what happens when the wind blows that wind makes this wind mills the blades of this wind mills to uh, uh, i can say mm, uh, to turn the uh, to turn the blades okay these blades starts to turn very fastly and this will lead to the generation of electricity okay so basically the wind energy which is given by the wind that wind energy converts into electrical energy and that electricity is basically generated by the windmill and they are also used to draw underground water to get the underground water or to grind grains into flour okay जो ग्रेन्स होते हैं सीड्स होते हैं उनसे फ्लोर आटा बन जाता है बाय द हेल्प ऑफ विंड मिल्स ओके एक्चुअली दीज विंड मिल्स आर रनिंग ऑन विंड एनर्जी जस्ट लाइक द सोलर कुकर्स और सोलर पैनल्स आर वर्किंग ऑन सोलर एनर्जी द सेम वे विंड मिल्स आर रन आर रन ऑन रन ऑन विंड एनर्जी ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज वॉटर so moving water whenever the water moves it possesses a lot of energy when the water is silent calm then it does not have the energy like that much but as soon as the water starts to flow at a speed it possesses a lot of energy and the dams are built to use that energy of water okay the water which are stored in dams they are allowed to fall from a height on a turbines turbines are actually uh, these types of uh, rollers okay on uh, and from a height from a very uh, big height uh, the water starts to falls from the dams on these turbines and then these turbines will starts to rotate okay and during that time as a result of it the tur turbines rotate and they help to produce electricity so again see one thing is common in all these solar energy also produce electrical energy wind energy also produce electrical energy and again the water energy also produce water is also used to produce the electricity or electrical energy okay now the last source of energy is fuels fuels are basically those substances like when the uh, when the coal petrol diesel or compressed natural gas that is the cng kerosene and wood that are burnt then they produce heat and power and that are known as fuel so these substances which burnt to produce heat and power they are known as fuels okay so again i am writing the examples of the fuels what are fuels that is coal petrol diesel okay diesel cng okay wood kerosene all these burn and they produce heat and power okay and that's why they are known as fuels okay now all the vehicles you know they they run on these fuels they need fuels to move okay and fuels are also used for cooking in the villages wood are uh, used to cook in our day to day life we need lpg that is liquefied petroleum gas that is also a fuel which is used to produce uh, which is used to cook the food energy uh, now students by all these sources of energy and they are working one thing is common in that that one form of energy can be converted into the another form of energy aapne dekha idhar theek hai to in electric bulbs what happens electrical energy in electric bulbs electric bulbs runs on electricity so that electrical energy converts into the heat energy and light energy in electric iron electric energy converts into the heat energy in the speakers electrical energy converts into the sound energy in the doorbells again electrical energy converts into the 
sound energy in heaters electric energy converts into the heat energy so there are uh, if there is a form of energy so that form of energy can easily be converted into the another form of energy so we can say that the energy the forms of energies are interconvertible wo ek dusre mein change ho jate the one form of energy can easily be converted into the another form of energy so students by this we had completed our chapter 10 so please have a look of this chapter revise the chapter and keep learning